Well, I also want to thank the Chamber uh, for having us here and, and doing this for us, Laura. Thank you. Most of you know that I grew up in Brownwood and I moved on and I went to college, uh, then to law school, and then I spent seven years practicing law in a downtown Dallas law firm. When my little boy turned five years old and it was time for him to go to school, uh, it was time for us to move home. And we did. Uh, and it's been a big blessing. Now, since moving back to Brownwood, I've been very actively involved in the community in many different ways. Uh, and I'm very proud of my record in community service, uh, including having had the honor of serving as the chairman or president of the Chamber of Commerce Board this past year. However, I want you also to know that I had extensive training uh, in business. Uh, I did not do my undergraduate degree in free law. I got a Bachelor of Business Administration degree. And I got specific training in economics, economic development, and public administration. I'm also a small business owner. And I can assure you I know what it's like to work long hours simply to make a payroll. Uh, so as a, as a professional or a degree professional and as a small business owner, I can assure you I know how to read a financial statement to make sure that our city is going to stay on budget as, as is required by our city charter. And I don't have time to tell you about everything that I'd like the city to do, but I want to share with you one idea. And it deals with retail sales growth. If you look at the history of Brownwood, we have been a tremendous industrial recruiter. And those things didn't happen by accident, and they didn't happen overnight. They happened because of the specific and intentional lacks of the Brownwood Industrial Foundation and the Brownwood Economic Development Corporation. And so when we talk about retail sales growth, it's my opinion we need to create a similar entity that can specifically focus on retail sales growth. Because our EDC is a 4A, statutory 4A economic growth, it is aimed at developing industry. And it needs to maintain that focus because industry jobs are exponentially beneficial to our economy. But we also need to be looking at that other component, which is retail sales tax growth, uh, and coming up with ways and studying ways to promote them. If you want a city that has lower taxes, that has lower fees, the only element of revenue that we can increase without increasing taxes and fees is to develop retail sales growth. In summary, let me answer the question that I've been asked the most, which is, why do you want to be mayor? Uh, and in answering that, I'm going to borrow a little phrase from Roy Spence, who spoke last night at the uh, Red Cross banquet. And Roy said, you know what you need to do in life is you need to, you need to follow your purpose. And if you follow your purpose, everything else is going to work out okay for you. Well, I believe that my purpose is to be a servant to the community. I believe that God gave me gifts in public administration. Uh, he gave me gifts of leadership. And it's my goal in life to use those gifts to glorify my God, my family, and my community. Henry David Thoreau once wrote this. He said it's something to paint a particular picture or to carve a statue or to make a few objects beautiful. But it is far more glorious to carve and paint the very atmosphere and medium through which we look to affect the quality of the day. That is the highest of all. My goal as mayor is to affect the quality of the day. And if you'll elect me as mayor, I'll use my gifts and abilities to make sure this is a place where people want to live, work, and raise their families for generations to come. Thank you so much.